heart the way to inner transformation. Man is always identified with the mind. Mind is thoughts. Mind creates confusions, illusions. Mind cannot be the way as long as it remains and claims itself the master. Your responsibility indeed is to the heart, not to the mind. Heart is the reality and mind is borrowed and illusion. Because mind is some total of thoughts, conditionings that are always borrowed. It is the society, your religions, your way of upbringing that bring conditionings of various types in you. All these are born and deeper understanding comes when the center of the heart begins to open. Everybody in the world wants to be true. Remember just to be true brings joy and bliss. Then why should one be false? Yet still people continue to be false, create the illusions around them. You have to gather the courage for a little deeper insight. Why are you afraid? What can the world do to you? People can laugh at you, may wander, and if they do so, it will do them good. Because remember, laughter is always therapeutic. It is a medicine and helpful too. People can think you are mad. Remember, just because they think you are mad, do you really become mad? Or if someone forms an opinion about you, in what way does it affect your inner group? Except that the mind is affected. The moment someone says to you something, you are upset. You feel insulted because you are mind. Remember, just because they think you are mad, do you really become mad? Allow them to think as they wish. Do not allow them to defile the sanctity of your heart. And whatever people think about you is their opinion. And if you are authentic about your joy, your tears, your dance, then sooner or later there will be people who will start understanding you the way you are. And then they will start joining your caravan. Like a flower, I blossomed along the path to the spring of inner joy. And then other flowers start blossoming and low. Now the spring of blissfulness is around. The blossoming of the first flower indicates the arrival of the season of flowering and then myriads of flowers blossom. I have not invited anyone. I have simply done whatsoever I felt was coming from my heart. Flowers has blossomed and seekers gather around like bees to drink the nectar from this flowering. Have you seen what is the beauty of the honey? The bees move from flower to flower, gather the nectar and that is converted into honey. That contains the nectar from all the flowers. Wherever the bees hum around, I have simply blossomed and in that blossoming, I have simply done whatever I felt was coming from heart, inner being, flower has blossomed now and seekers gathered around like bees to drink the nectar from this flower. Just as my responsibility is towards my heart, my being, not otherwise, so is your responsibility only towards your being. Never go against it, flow with it. Because going against it is committing suicide and destroying you and your potentiality. And what is the gain? Even if people give you respect and people think that you are very sober, respectable, 
honorable one? What are you going to gain? None of these things nourish your being. Also, they are not going to give you any more insight into life and its tremendous beauty. And moreover, everyone is so concerned with their own problems. Then who cares whether you are laughing, dancing or anything else? No one has time for it. It is only your mind that is thinking that the whole world is thinking about you. Human mind is so crowded, worried, with the stampede of thoughts about him, life and problems. You mistake to think the others have time even to look at you or think about you. No, indeed it is not so. No one has time for you. Therefore, you should not be worried at all. Everybody is so concerned with his own world and no one has time or energy to bother about you. And even if they have some opinion, it is their problem. But we are unduly concerned about the opinions of the others. Man continues to live in the opinion of others. The transformation begins when you do not live in the opinion of others. Alone you came in the world, alone you are here, and alone you will depart from this world. All their opinions will be left behind, and what really remains are your original feelings, and it is your authentic experience that will go with you even beyond death. To the other show. Death cannot take away your dance, your tears of joy, your purity of aloneness, your silence, your serenity and your ecstasy. That death cannot take away from you all that is your real treasure. Death can take away only all that is false, not your real treasures, not your blissfulness. How many millions of people have lived before you on this earth? You do not even know their names. Whether they ever lived or not does not make any difference. There have been saints and there have been sinners and there have been very respectable people and also all kind of crazy ones as well and they have all disappeared with no trace remaining. Your sole concern should be to take care of and protect those qualities which you can take with you when death comes. It is only these qualities that will be your sole companion. They are only real treasures and people who attain them, only they live while others only pretend to live. Therefore remember, heart is the way to innerness, heart is the way to transformation. Mind can never be the way to transformation.